everyone welcome back to crafting at whimsy wonderland my name is stacy i have a cute little uh wall sign i'm going to make for you today and i wanted to show you what i'm using these are garden art flags that i got on clearance at hobby lobby for 99 cents after christmas now i was in there just last week and that's in july and they still had some of these at my uh, hobby lobby they were on the back wall way far back in the store behind the big rolls of um, like upholstery fabric and whatnot they have a really low or clearance section over there I'd already bought a bunch for 99 cents so I didn't worry about buying any more but they still had some so I've got this one which is a little farmhouse um, a barn and it says believe on it this is my favorite the Merry Christmas truck I love everything red truck and then I also got this one that says Candy Cane Wishes and Mistletoe Kisses. Okay. Now I've already opened this one up because those wrappers are noisy. You're also going to need one of these um, 11 by 14 canvases from the Dollar Tree. And a good sharp pair of scissors. Now, these are double-sided and there's a piece of... Um, like black fabric inside to keep it from the sun from shining through it so there's actually two decoupageable prints on each flag so I'm going to carefully cut and here I'm going to cut just below the stitching line you want to have a good sharp pair of scissors for this so that you get a good clean cut and then over here there's you know there's the stitching line I'm just going to cut as close to it as I can Trim all four sides. So all four sides have been trimmed, so all the stitching is off. And when I pull this apart, it just has this black fabric in the middle, which I'm going to stash over there for another project. And now I have two Christmas trucks that I can decoupage, okay? Or use for anything else. And then I've got this canvas board. It's one of the Crafters Square. Let me get the plastic off of it. Sometimes the 11 by 14s are hard to find, so if you see them, you should grab them. And this truck is barely going to fit on this board. Okay. So my goal is to put it as low as I can. I wish I had a little more to wrap on the top. That way it would leave me space for a bow. So we just need to coat this uh, canvas board in Mod Podge. And I'm going to start by just pouring some because my Mod Podge is getting low. I need to get some more. And I want a good thick coat on here. And because it's a uh, canvas, it's going to soak up the Mod Podge a little bit more. It's very dry and very porous. Make sure you get all the way to the edges and that your edges are the thickest coating of Mod Podge because that's where it's going to be most important. Right now we're going to lay down our truck. And I want to, I'm going to start it with the top, so it's going to be upside down to you, because I know where I want it to hit, <laughs> and I want it to get on there straight. Okay. This is fabric, and it's nylon, so it's not going to stretch, so I can go ahead and rub it a little bit. I, usually I tell you just press gently, but... This is pretty sturdy fabric, so you want to make sure you're pressing it in and that you're feeling some of that Mod Podge stickiness coming through because that's what's going to hold it on the board. It's not wanting to stick. I think it's because it's nylon. Let's try this. I'll get a little more on here. Maybe we're going to have to really go crazy with the Mod Podge. Let's give it a try. If it's a scrap project, well, the flag was only, 
99 cents and I got two of them so I might have to come up with another idea okay that's a ton 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 of Mod Podge on the top half there we go now it's soaking through that's what we want to see so really glob on this Mod Podge guys so that it really soaks into this fabric Another way that's been successful for me for attaching these flags is to spray the board with spray adhesive and then put my flag down and once the spray adhesive is dried then seal the top with Mod Podge and then you get that same look uh, of the Mod Podge but you don't have to use so much to get the flag to stick to the board and I think it feels a little bit more secure with the spray adhesive. So much better. Don't worry about um fingerprints and whatnot right now go in opposite directions just get it smoothed on and then we will put another coat on top after it's dry I think would be best or I can actually probably do it now and then let it dry okay let's go ahead and Seal it up. Make sure you're pushing hard with your brush so that we're completely saturating this fabric and that it's sticking to the board. If this was cotton fabric, it would soak through a whole lot faster. But since it's a flag and it's made from nylon, nylon is naturally moisture resistant. So you've got to really work to get that glue to soak in. But once it does, this is going to be a very durable piece. And I'm thinking I might even be able to hang it on my front door. I live in Utah, so I don't do wreaths too much because I don't have a porch. And so the wind and the snow will just do a wreath in. So I try to keep inexpensive things on my door because some mornings you'll wake up and they will be gone. I am actually going to just let this dry and then... We'll come back and see how it did. I've never Mod Podged a nylon flag before, so it's presenting some new challenges to me. So we'll deal with them as they present themselves. So everything I've ever taught you about being sparing with your Mod Podge, that goes out the window with this. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let this dry and then we'll see what happens. And I'll be back to share with you the results. All right, the Mod Podge finally dried. I finally just ended up leaving it on overnight and letting it dry because it was taking a long time. So it stuck down really well and I need to fold over the edges. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to trim this. And then I've got my hot glue gun heating up. Oh, and I need to clip to the corner. So I already clipped it on that side. All right, I think. I think I'm going to do the bottom edge first. So I'm just going to run a bead of glue and just going to fold that up and over. You could Mod Podge this down, but I'm afraid it would take forever for it to grab on. So I think hot glue on this part is the best option. Okay, and then I'm going to flip it around and do the other end. Thank you. 
Now this is going to continue to ravel unless we do something about it. So I'm going to take some washi tape and I'm going to just cover my seam edges with it. You could use duct tape for this, whatever kind of tape you have on hand. I just think washi looks nicer. I had some problems with the washi tape sticking to the nylon and to the board. It kept coming unstuck and eventually it did fall off. So I went back and with my hot glue gun and some just grow grain ribbon, I went ahead and took the washi tape off and replaced it with ribbon and it looks a lot nicer and it's sticking a lot better. So washi tape's not the way to go this time. So there we have our Mod Podge truck. Now it's going to need a bow and it's going to need a hanger. And this to me says farmhouse. So to that me, that means burlap or jute. On this one, I think I will use burlap ribbon to make the hanger. I'm just randomly cutting a piece the length I want it to be. And I'm going to glue it onto the back. Now I've got this as my hanger, and then it's going to need a bow. Okay, I made up these junk bows last Christmas and had them left over. And this one's got a truck on it, so I'm thinking that might be a good bow. But this one also has a truck on it, but I think that one's too big. This one's just a little more simple. I think I'm going to go with that bow and I'm just going to stick it over to the side because if I put it in the middle, it's going to cover some of the picture. So if I turn it at an angle, put it on the corner, I think it'll look really cute. Just going to put a good wad of glue down. These are very textured on the back. Um, I made these junk bows last Christmas. I made a tutorial for it. I will link that in the description box below and at the end of this video. All right, I think that that is all that it really needs. All right, there you have it. My Merry Christmas, y'all. A uh, Mod Podge sign made from a garden flag. And remember, you get two pieces of art out of one flag because it's a double-sided flag. Be sure to look for the tutorial for this bow at the end of this video. And if you're interested in making these burlap flowers. There's a tutorial with my hula hoop wreath on that. All right, let me know what you're thinking about this project in the comments section below. Um, is it something you are interested in making for your home? And what is your style for Christmas? Do you like the farmhouse, the uh, red truck? Who doesn't like the red truck? It seems like that's very popular. Anyway, I love the red truck. <laughs> So anyhow, let me know what you're thinking. Thumbs up if you like it. That helps my channel to grow. This has been Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.